As a child, I hated the words, I'm doing this because I love you. Why? Because my dad wasn't referring to giving me candy. He only used this phrase in moments leading to punishment. Really, Dad? How are you loving me by punishing me? Human parents can discipline a child for the right reasons, but they can also punish their children for the wrong reasons and with the wrong methods. God's discipline is different. In Proverbs 3.11, it says, My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline or be weary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves, as a father the son in whom he delights. The author of Proverbs suggests God disciplines us for our good because he delights in us. But what is discipline? Discipline involves shaping behavior and molding character. If you punish someone, you want them to suffer for what they've done. If you discipline someone, you want them to learn from a mistake and not to do it again. Both are uncomfortable and often involve consequences, but discipline has the potential of leading us away from self-destructive behavior. God loves us too much to let the unpleasantness of discipline get in the way of what's best for us. And God uses things like consequences to lead us to a more full and abundant life in Him. This doesn't mean that when bad things happen, God is causing those bad things to teach us something. Especially because God can also use good things to shape our behavior and character, to inspire us to become whomever He has for us to become. Because God delights in you, He will make every effort to remove self-destructive behavior. Sometimes that might be painful. Sometimes it might be uncomfortable, but it's always because he loves you.